Alrighty, guys, a new a new week is starting. The uh, the uranium miners or the what's it called the Australian market is opening in I don't know a few hours, and we will do our weekly wrap up of the uranium miners down under in Australia. Um, so yeah, as always, you know what to do. Follow me, subscribe, like, comment. Yeah, you're well informed on that one. And uh, yeah, let's let's uh, dig right into the business right here. You can get the weekly candles for the most of the time, so it's a it's a longer time frame uh, view still. All right, let's start with nine to E. Still, nothing, not doing much, right? We still have this overall major flag here, an internal golden trend line, just can't seem to break through. And uh, and yeah, you know, when we start to break it, that's when we will, in my view, go way higher. But until then nothing much to do i mean you can uh, i think you can you can i wouldn't say buy here that doesn't make much sense but if you get all the way down here in these those you can if you want to do that strategy you can buy hopefully low and then we start to grind higher um but anyways if not just wait for that breakout here i mean it doesn't in the long term it doesn't really it doesn't matter much anyway uh, if you believe in this uh in the uranium space the only thing that worries me a tiny bit is the fact that the past three weeks where the most of the uranium market has actually gone up a decent amount well maybe not the past week or two but still and we have three red candles here why it's a bit of a concern that this one doesn't get a bit so yeah therefore i will just the optimal strategy is just to wait for this one to break and uh, yeah that's how i see that one long term here aee -E, aura energy limited we still have this, I want to show you, long-term, invert head and shoulders right there. And uh, again, basically, I don't know what, happens, what happened here. It might be a split, I don't know. But again, if you don't have a position, I don't. But how I will play this one, again, do your own due diligence. I would just wait for this, that one, that short-term resistance golden resistance uh, to break through that one then we have taken out the neckline the, the long-term blue neckline and we are in clear air um again maybe it should be a bit different here like like that so it's almost horizontal but anyways you can see the long-term play here again if we get above 0 0.36 0 0.37 on a weekly basis then i think you can have a have a nice entry and play the long game there um Again, always do your own due diligence and you can do your own strategies, but the big level to watch for is 0 0.37. Then we have cleared this long-term inverted head and shoulders. H or alligator energy. Looking at it here, we are down to major support right here, getting a bit of a wick here, tiny, tiny wick, I would, I, of course. But we have it all the way out around here. You can see all the interactions coming across for alligator after this major breakout here which we looked into um and called the break you know right here um beautifully and we're down a, a big chunk actually um but again you are in an uptrend after a major wedge breakout and this is the first pullback that is how big is the pullback anyway let's see we were down roughly 33 percent and now down 30 again on the daily, you're getting to the to the moving averages. You, I mean, this is, I mean, that's a great buy uh, in my view. If you if you want to get in uh, on the first pullback, could we go lower? Absolutely. Again, we still have you know a lot of support down here, but again, getting a thirty percent discount after a major breakout, uh, it's not too bad, and uh, it's very difficult to catch a bottom uh, on that pullback. Um, so yeah. Uh, not too bad we are major support and again the um the us uranium miners uh, this friday did very well so i would expect unless i'm totally wrong you know that the uh, the miners here in australia will do very well when it opens up and during the day and then we'll see what happens when the us opens uh, later on this week this monday but still nice discount here a 30 percent discount after the breakout what's not to like uh, i guess also, Bannerman, the good old Bannerman, long-term, it's pointing to very high prices. Long-term, absolutely fantastic for Bannerman, also age and so on. But uh, I'm just trying to 
to give you some ideas, maybe some entry ideas or uh, adding ideas. Uh, I mean, we all play it very differently. Um, so I'm just trying to follow the charts, give my thoughts, and you can use it however you want. Uh, that's all up to you. Uh, and hopefully you gain from it. That's that's my goal, um, really. All right, none of that. Bannerman, you can see here, we have a small retrace here, roughly 13%, not as big as Alligator, but we are down to a major support here at, let me show you. This was the previous bear market confirmation breaking down from 2.3 and then we just went into a very big bear market right so 2.3 over here look at what's happening here as well 2.3 you know like 10 years later is still very much a support and resistance and what's oh excuse me and what is happening right now go away As you can see here we're getting a bit here at that 2.3 level ish right so that's quite nice. Hopefully we hold here, but uh, but anyways, we haven't had a, a bigish pullback yet. Um, but we are coming down, and uh, and yeah, I'd, would I be buying here? I don't know. We we are, we're still somewhat stretched here uh, from the the thirty weekly. So um, I, I, maybe we can get a better entry here. Again, very difficult to foresee, depending on hap what happens this Monday. Um, so yeah. But still very stretched, very overbought. Still, what's the daily saying? Oh, we're getting down to, to a bit more neutral 60 RSI. Um, long term, Bannerman looks fantastic. Deep yellow, deep yellow. I want to show you that long term trend line here. This is all the way down. You can see it here one, two, uh, one and a half, three, four, five, right? And uh, right now, sitting in that bull flag. We have broken out of the golden, which is very nice. Uh, right now, we're just sitting in this green flag right here. A break here, you can see the tag here, break at 1.15. And we have more upside. Long term, this chart, uh, once we get the clear right here, points to a lot higher prices uh, in, in the future. Um, so again, be patient. And uh, this one should uh, break that uh, 1.15 at some point in time, deep yellow. Boss energy at all time highs. We have no more resistance above us. Um, so, do I think we will retest that high here from 07? Yes, I do. That's very often happening, you know, get a breakout that we retest an all time high. Um, yeah, but again, how big are the market cap? 1.5 billion. Okay, that's a pretty, pretty hefty one. Um, but still, it looks fantastic. Um, but would I be chasing here now? Absolutely not. You can see RSI weekly very overbought. Monthly, it's getting into full alignment with the weekly as well. That's very nice to see. And uh, and yeah, I'll just be buying any pullback the way you want to do, uh, the way you play that pullback game. And uh, and yeah, you can just clearly see, uh, right, you break out here, the pullback as well, big move. So I, do, I would expect some sort of retrace down to that one. And then you can maybe have an entry. Uh, maybe we'll get a deeper one. I don't know, but still, Long term looks fantastic, and uh, and yeah, the big entry for the past eighteen months of sideways action was obviously this one and the retest. Um, so buying here is not all, something that I typically typically do. Uh, if I were to have an entry, it would be the breakout or the retest or fifty fifty, right? Split it up into two portions. So elevate. Let's not dig into too much history. The wedge pattern here. Broke out, made your run up, and now we're just coming back into that long-term green. Look at this one here. All the interactions on the green one coming across. And uh, and yeah, uh, bit of a... We didn't quite gear a, get a bearish candlestick formation here. You know, one big green, doji, and then a big red one. So the good thing is that the red one didn't close below the green body over here. So we still have some hope. But, uh, but yeah, as, as for now, the green support is holding on um so uh so yeah that's, that's that's nice to see but again if you start to break down for that green support i think we might be in for some some uh some lower prices um yeah the rsi is at 50 so that's usually a where people buy on the pullback so yeah long term it, it looks great uh, no doubt about it you can see it here 
there it is. That's the leg one, and probably leg three up will be way bigger. Um, beautiful. LOT, Lotus Energy. Still, don't do anything right here. We have that long-term golden right there it is. Right, and then what happened here at the double resistance, almost, we tagged it and went down big time here. So just wait for a break of that 0 0.305, confirming the golden and confirming the the horizontal white resistance. Then you have a great entry. The uptrend is very much in play. Stop it. You can see it here. We have that uptrend here. So again, I think when we clear that, I think we're going to visit the upper um, at some point in time. Um, so yeah, but just wait. Patience, patience will always win, in my view. Um, so zero point. 305 is a big, big level to watch. Look at it here. OKR, we followed this one. False breakdown, volume coming in beautifully. And now we are above. So what, what usually happens if uh, is if you have a false breakdown, you get a snap back, and then you get the first pullback, that's your buy. So that's what we're waiting for. That first uh, one or two weeks with the red candles, then you should be adding into this one. Um, nice, also above the 30 weekly, so very nice momentum suddenly to the upside here. And uh, I think this one, I think this one will go way higher once we just clear the downward momentum on the short term. We should be good to go. Long term, PDN Paladin Energy looks fantastic. You know this one. That's a big, big, big. Did I say big? Yes, breakout right there. And uh, again, the long-term trend is set. You should be buying any pullback on the way. And uh, as you know, we did this last time as well. The pullbacks can be used like this. Let's see what happened there. 30%, 40%, 30%. So we have a gauge roughly. Roughly 30% is the pullbacks that we see. Um, will we get this time? I don't know, but that's a good way looking at history to add into them later on in the in the future when we get that 30% pullback, which we will. Don't get me wrong, we'll get the pullbacks. Here we have Penn, Peninsula Energy, the double bottom still holding. We haven't quite, we are back in the in the long-term bullish channel there, and the double bottom is holding on. I really want to see that one that gets taken out at one point, uh, excuse me, 0 0.125 gets taken out. Uh, then we maybe have this fall, this, uh, False breakout, and you buy the first pullback above the wedge. Beautifully. SLX, we drew this blue blue wedge pattern right here, and look what we got. We have a pushback just at that point in time. Um, so right now, I am, I would be calling for a maybe a touchdown here at the lower one to get that final one, two, three lower impulse lows. Is that a, yeah, that's the word, I guess. Uh, and then hopefully we resume to the upside. Again, SLX has been one of the more strong uranium companies for the past 18 months where everything has gone down. So that's very nice to see. But also note, please note the bearish side of this one here. We have a wedge break, a rising wedge, breakdown, retest, and maybe we get a deeper pullback here from the rising wedge. Um, you can add in Fibonacci, you can do, you can play it however you want to, but they are way, we haven't even reached the first one. So keep that, keep that, keep that in mind. Our equal weighted ECF, yes, it has pros and cons, but we are tracking it every week. We have indeed broken out. So any pullback should be bought. And uh, if you can get a full retest, then you can say, all right, the ETF has made the retest, then you can look into the, Individual miners, too. Um, yeah. Our equal weighted ETF divided by the uranium spot price. A little bit of a fakey fakey here. Uh, so we still have more downward momentum uh, against the spot price itself. Again, the spot price has been very strong. So that that's, that's a good thing, right? But uh, for now, the miners cannot outperform it on an equal weighted basis. Uh, but to me, it's just a matter of time anyways. And, uh, and yeah. Let's just quickly look at the spot price. Just 
to see where we are. Do I have it here? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There it is. Look at it. Stunningly. Let's go to the monthly. Right. I mean, we are going to... That's the Fukushima high. Again, the spot pressure pool way higher up here at 140 at the peak of 08, 07, 08. And uh, we are just pounding higher. I think we will get all the way to, to 73 before any major... I wouldn't say major, but, but before any bigger pause. Uh, but again, it's a tiny market, so maybe it doesn't even care, right? But still, let's see what happens. Guys, have a great day. Let's see what the week brings. Um, we follow it each week, uh, both when the, we, it looks very grim, but also when it looks very, very good. We want to be on just sharpening our entries and skills and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, have a great day, guys, and uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.